Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Halo Hub, and sorry for my long absence, but I'm back, and this episode of Reach Race Track Reviews should be worth the wait, because it's an awesome map, and it's a subscriber special. So yeah, as you can see, this is an indoor-outdoor map, it's just really, really good map, uh, it's got some nice variety of basically everything, uh, you got some really cool collision points on it as well, as you can see it was crazy uh, with on the play date. so I'd just like to thank everyone for coming to the play date. it was awesome. And yeah, the next one is this Saturday, so I'll release further details soon. <clears throat> but yeah, let's get on to the race. So as you can see, uh, you spawn like either side of this kind of four, like quadruple hole, and then you have to drive uh, around that U-bend and then around the hole again, around the holes again, like in opposite directions, which is really uh, creative and like original, and it's also really fun, and it looks awesome as well. So yeah, basically top marks for this bit here, I love it. And uh, yeah, that's basically why this map doesn't can get away with not having a spawn gate because that's just so awesome. So yeah, as you can see, you get out some nice uh, outside parts of the map, and this bit is probably the only floor of the map because you know uh, if you collide with someone there, it's bad stuff. Uh, I'll, you'll see, you'll see on your next lap round because it's also a collision point. <clears throat> but yeah, you can see you got a nice variety of pieces basically all around the map, a nice variety of environments, uh, just basically everything about this map really just keeps you interested. So you've got some blocks now and then walls, but before you had like glass covers and stuff. Uh, there's not really much in the way of aesthetics, there's like a few, and the, the, the aesthetics there are I really like, so that's why i got like a 4 out of 5 for aesthetics. But oh no, spoilers. But yeah, this is a really bad, like, uh, it's not really really bad, it's just quite frustrating for me as a floor, because you know, I was one of the unlucky people to get caught in it, and it really did annoy me, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. <clears throat> But yeah, uh, it's really fun, so I definitely recommend you guys to go and download it. The link is in the description, as always. Uh, it's District 7 by Trabador, as you saw on the screen earlier. But yeah, as you can see, it's just completely crazy. And yeah, once again, thanks to everyone for playing. It was real, it was real fun. And yeah, we're going to do it again this weekend, Saturday, 8.30. And yeah, like I said, I'll have like a details video later in the week. Probably like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe. But yeah, as you can see, I just bounced off that, which is really annoying, and you know, you have to gain speed to actually do it, so if, if you collide, <laughs> fail, if you collide with someone, then you're going to have to like, U-turn, go all the way back up there, and it's just really, really annoying for me, and like for my, this guy here, I don't know who it is, some blue dude, who uh, also gets, like, has the same problem, and you know, it is, you couldn't really avoid it, so there's not really much he could have done about it, because you know, it's a collision point. But yeah, it was quite annoying for me, so I'm not sure if it was intentional, if you wanted it like that, but yeah, it was really frustrating, so probably one of the only things this map lost marks for. So you see here, I have to like U-turn and just about get up there, which is quite annoying. Basically, I think you may have been able to, oh no, you wouldn't have been able to flip the shield door, because if you flip the shield door, then they couldn't get back in from the bottom, which is really annoying. But yeah, you see here, we've got some nice lag there, which is, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get to the scores. So, out of 5 for aesthetics, I gave this map a 4, because it didn't really have that many aesthetics, but the aesthetics that it did have were good. So it had like the dice, um, which I kind of liked, and lining the walls with certain stuff, and the asterisk near where the 4 holes were, which I found pretty cool. So, uh, structure and design. Out of 10 for structure and design, I gave this map 10, because it was really good, there was nothing wrong with it in the way it was built. Uh, it had a nice variety of like environments and blocks and basically everything. It was really smooth. All the angles worked well. There weren't any that were really hard to race on. There were no bumps or anything in it. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for structure and design. And then for functionality, I gave this map an 8 out of 10 because one point de deducted, not mark, one point deducted for uh, lack of spawn gate, even though the spawning was really good. You know, it would have been even better with the spawn gate. And then one more point deducted for the kind of annoying collision point where it didn't really work unless you had to like turn around. And it wouldn't have been a problem like if you just had to, you know, I don't know, but it's just the fact that you have to actually turn around and gain speed again, which I found quite annoying. So yeah, maybe uh, put some like a little side ramp in there or something for you to get up if you get stuck. But yeah, that gives this map a total of 22 out of 25. So well done Trabador, that's a 5 star map. You guys should definitely go all download it. And yeah, thanks for watching everyone, make sure to subscribe to be notified when I release my next video, it could be anything to do with Halo, so if you like Halo then you should definitely subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video.